The meeting came as a result of a motion moved during a recent plenary by a member representing Roni Enkwashi Buiwa and Kazori Federal Constituency following a complaint by students of a non-payment of their stipends. This investigative hearing seeks, among other things, to provide accurate information on the reasons for prolonged non-payment of the stipends since 2023. Where can you base your submission on the exchange rate, that is on the dollar? Since we are going to pay them in dollar anyway, let them do the calculation at the central bank. All you need is that this, are the, this is the dollar that you want paid to the students. Instead of you giving error and then at the end of the day you cannot uh, uh, meet up. Responding to issues raised by members of the committee, Permanent Secretary, Federal Minister of Education, alongside Director of Federal Scholarships Board, says the present challenge emanated from the fiscal year 2023. They explain that a total sum of four billion five hundred and thirty five million eight hundred and twenty thousand seven hundred and seven naira was appropriated in the budget. But regrettably, the extent rate differentials caused shortfalls in funding their awards. I realize that even this 2024 is not going to be enough. We will still run into the same problem we ran in 2023. As it is, even the official one, forget about the parallel market now, the official one is behaving like a moving target. You cannot base your calculation even on the, extent, on the official exchange rate. Therefore, for our report, I will advise that you give us a realistic figure. The committee therefore resolved to ask the Minister of Finance Auditor General of the Federation and the Ministry to appear before its next sitting with a view to having a lasting solution.